Hey everybody, the Rhyme Man here, coming to you with some more Darkest Dungeon. So, obviously enough, we have finished the first tier of bosses. At least to my knowledge. Sweat drop. So... What we're going to do is basically whatever comes to us. We have a whole bunch of level 4s and level 3s. I kind of want to do a short mission, just so I can get Caitlyn and Jeff up to snuff. Because it would be nice to have another Plague Doctor available to do the higher level missions in case something happens. Mm, but at the same time... Making a team with my level 2s to zeros Seems kind of iffy on paper. Well, let's get one of my highwaymen to level, to level three at least. Uh, Zalzar, that would be you, who we're going to focus on. And then let's get Caitlyn in on this action as well as Jeff. Oh, he's actually good in the third position, and Zal can actually work within the second position. So now it's about who to put in the back row. Hmm. You know what, let's have Dramkiss be in the third row and then we'll allocate abilities to Jeff accordingly so he can work in the back row. That's right, Mr. Creator, we're going to mess around with you. <laughs> it's like every person's dream come true. So we're going to reduce the training costs of skills by 10%. Every creature has a weakness. The wise hero trains for what he will face. And what we're going to do, we're in the back row, we're going to keep play grenade. Um, as well as battlefield medicine. What we're going to add to our repertoire is we need something good. We need something that can hit the front row. Nox noxious Blast. So we're going to replace Emboldening vapor Vapors with Noxious Blast. That way we have several abilities that can work at once. We have two buffers and then two things that can plague the enemy either in the back two rows or the front two rows. Which is exactly what I wanted. Let's see, Caitlyn. Adrenaline rush, that's a buffer. If it bleeds, it's a bleeding attack. Barbaric Yop, which is a stunner, a dual stunner, and it reduces her damage and dodge. And a wicked hack. You know, I'm good with I'm good with this lineup of abilities. All right, for you, Zalzar. You know, I was about to upgrade your grape shot blast, but then I noticed it didn't actually increase in damage. Let's bolster up your open vein. And that'll be good for you. And for Dramkiss. Uh, let's see, what area is he in again? He's in the third position, so he's going to be sticking in his human form. So let's increase your, his manacles and give it the ability to crit. And upgrade his absolution, at least by one. Oh, 
also upgrade with this pile. And I think we're ready to go then. Now we just need to throw in a couple of these uh, goodies and we should be ready to go. So of course we'll increase our damage output for sure. give her a tenacity ring just so she has a better chance of surviving a strike. And you know what? I, I would probably never use this move charm. I just want to sell it just so I can have more room. <laughs> I don't know. Just for some reason I kind of just knew in my head I would never use that. Um... Right, to compensate for the fact that Zalzar has little capacity to dodge, we'll just go with something like the Damage Stone, which will allow, allow him to do more, as well as increase his speed. That way he can get his turn faster. For Mr. Dramkiss, I believe we're heading into the... No, I was about to say Warren, but it looks like we're going to the Wield instead. Let's give him the Padlock of Transference. And let's increase his dodge by a little bit. Increase it up to 17 there. And lastly, we'll give Jeff the very, very rare Blasphemous Vial. Absolutely a keeper there. And then give him the Barristan's Head just so he can take a bit more punishment. Would not want our CEO, or my, my CEO, to get his ass handed to him in the first dungeon. He would never let me live it down. Alright, we are good to go. So really it's just about doing different missions until we get a boss battle. Oh, you know what? I forgot to send people to taverns or abbeys. I knew all these oh, that's paths embarrassing. once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Well, nobody's gonna get some stress and relaxation time. I'll have to work around that once we get back. That that's a mistake on my part. Mind that such missteps are the exception. I think maybe I just spaced out. Rule. It is early in the morning for me. <laughs> So we gotta go into this, these rooms on the left before we can backtrack and take the rooms on the southern side. Alright guys, we're gonna give you your first real test. Boosh. Provided him. Let's add some blight to them as well. <laughs> Sucks for that group. Such a terrible Ow. assault cannot be left unanswered. Damn, nice dodge. Nice dodge on you, Caitlin. All right, the guys in the front are going to die. No problem. Jeff, on the other hand, is getting extremely stressed out, and I just realized the true horror of the item setup I gave him. Oops. Let's 
buff him up. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. He should die right away. So we can afford to do that. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Some vengeful greaves. Those will be good to sell. I'm just immediately thinking of how much they're gonna be on the black market. <laughs> also, Roar. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Just having like a mini panic attack back there right now. Like his stress is going up fast. I forgot that the blasphemous vial also increases the stress damage that he takes, so. Yeah, it's kind of a error in judgment on my part. Their formation is broken. Thankfully things worked out. out how it should. Thankfully, even if our group gets like mixed up, they actually work rather well. Continue the onslaught. Nice one. Destroy them all. Just keep up the momentum. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Alright, I'm not complaining with Dramkiss being up front. I don't know what you're smoking. But it doesn't actually <laughs> matter because Zalzar Success. So just utterly kicks you. ass. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And take the money. Take the money. Ooh. Maybe this will help Jeff. It made him clumsy. Thumbs up. And Jeff is not having a good day, is he? Reeling, gasping. This is the exact opposite of that. This is called Jeff's madness. bad day now. Because everything is going wrong for him. And he's asking for leeches, which is disconcerting. This expedition at least promises success. Backtrack galore. Oh, on the bright side, it shouldn't take too long. Just hoping we don't run into any monsters on the way. Kind of gotta maintain our torches for the last little push. Son of a bitch, Dramkiss. Oh. Come on, Jeff, take deep, deep breaths. Deep breaths. I really want this to turn out good for you. Seriously. 
Please don't let this turn anything but good. Oh. Caitlyn is really fast on her feet, I have to say. It's kind of impressive. This and the next room should be the last ones. Ooh. Good job, Jeff. In fact, Jeff, you did so good. Why don't you dig up this grave? Oh, it paid off. I mean, good, it paid off. I can be such a dick sometimes. There you go. Nom nom away. Over up at top top. Oh. Okay then. Let's explore the last room just because of curiosity's sake, and I feel like we can probably survive this. A little bit extra gold. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. And there is nothing here. So, spent a little bit extra time just to get 75 gold. <laughs> Let them arrive on Wonderful. Henry. Well, we did get a good handful of stuff. Wouldn't say it's the most impressive find, but we got a lot of deeds. We got 10 deeds. And we got a new item for the Plague Doctor called a Rotgut Sensor. Increases the accuracy in return for losing max HP. Hmm. Okay. Caitlyn has become obsessed with self-worship. She is absolutely in love with herself, and why wouldn't she? And she's become a good scouter in the ruins. Gramkiss improves stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Okay, so he's no longer freaking out. I remember the last time Gramkiss went to meditate, it didn't turn out too well. He kind of just completely blew up internally. And Jeff, it costs less to upgrade Jeff's armor, but he's now obsessed with money. I feel like I can make a joke on that, considering what his occupation is. <laughs> uh, but then who isn't obsessed with money? I'm obsessed with money, to some extent anyway. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Alright, Jeff and Caitlin are apprentices. And Zalzar and Dramkis are veterans. Gamerbomb meditated. Oh yeah, he did stay to meditate over time. And Muffiny is wanting to remain in prayer still, so she's going to be unavailable. Which is fine, I guess. Ooh, look at all the good choices, actually. I kind of want to get another leper, just because... Just because I like lepers. Do we have enough arbalists? Yeah, we have two. We have two arbalists, two lepers. We only have one hound master. We have two occultists, both level three. I kind of want to get a hound master.
because we don't really have a Houndmaster in ma in like Mass Effect. The only one is uh, Paligo Naji, and he hasn't seen much action to be honest. All right, why not? A lawman and his faithful beast, a bond forged by battle and bloodshed. So this lovely individual is going to be known as Full Out. And for those of you who don't know who Full Out is, Full Out also goes by Dave is one of the testers for the game that I'm also a play tester for and he is a funny dude. <laughs> I also kind of attribute him in my head to being kind of like Jeff's right hand man. I'm actually not sure what uh, Full Out's position is in uh, the studio. If he's a tester, if he's a staff member. We kind of just like met semi-recently so it's not like I know his life story but now he's in the game so <laughs> ah, he can't escape now so we're gonna sell those greaves cuz we can I'll probably sell one of those protection stones cuz I can anything in the nomad store mm, not really Nothing I care about anyway. Ooh, we can upgrade we can upgrade gambling. And soon we can actually upgrade the training regimen again if we wanted to. Alright, let's take some of these people out of this. I think we're getting somewhere. We're getting closer to another boss. Maybe. Alright, I should probably deal with Jeff's insanity. Penance Hall, he goes. <laughs> I see red. Yes, yes. Some people wouldn't be celebrating over that, my man. Uh, Dustin. Since you can't go and meditate, I guess I'll let you go to the bar and drink your cares away, happily. Hmm, Caitlin, I'm going to let you go gamble. And Michael, you're gonna go pray. That plan? That plan. That's the plan. Some of the others can are gonna have to deal with their stress levels. Or maybe not, let's see. Depends who can suck it up and go to the bar. Alright, Shark, you're gonna go drink with Destin. The two lepers are hanging out together at the bar. Two lepers go to a bar. No. Um. Hopefully I have enough money to send a new team out. I guess we'll see in a second. 